Meiosis gives us the diversity that we see in our everyday lives. It's a special type of cell division found in eukaryotes that sexually reproduce, including plants, fungi, and animals like us. Let's take human meiosis as an example, a process that gives rise to our gametes, eggs and sperm. Human gametes have one copy of each of the 23 chromosomes, which is half the number of most of our body cells. For simplicity, we will only follow two chromosomes through meiosis. When the egg and sperm fuse, they produce a fertilized cell, which has 46 chromosomes, one copy from your mother and one from your father. So how do gametes end up with only half the number of chromosomes? That's where meiosis comes in. So how does meiosis work? Meiosis starts with a cell that contains two copies of every chromosome. Each copy of the chromosome is replicated to double the number of chromosomes. Each identical copy is called a chromatid. The two identical purple chromatids pair up with the two identical yellow chromatids, and this is where swapping of DNA occurs in a crossing over process called recombination. It's the first step in which genetic diversity is introduced. After crossing over, the pairs of chromatids line up along the centre of the cell. The pairs are then pulled to opposite ends of the cell by a protein machine called a spindle. This is the second step where diversity is introduced, as it is random whether the mother or the father pair of chromatids goes to one end of the cell or the other. Immediately following this first division, there is a second division without any DNA replication. This division reduces the number of each chromosome from two, diploid, to one, haploid. Thus, when the gametes, the sperm and the egg, fuse together, we restore the normal number of chromosomes for the next generation. Can you now see how meiosis gives us the diversity that we see in our everyday lives? It's the reason you don't look identical to your mum or your dad. Without meiosis, we would all be clones of each other.